Hi, everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Seb. All right, Seb, let's get started today. Okay.、Mm -hmm. So, Erin,、mm -hmm. would you call yourself a good cook? Well, I would say with some things, I'm a better baker than、mm -hmm. I am a cook. So I'm. Excellent at making cookies and cakes and all those delicious sweet foods, but when it comes to actually cooking, I cook for myself and I'm not very picky.、Mm. So it's fine for me, but might not be for other people. But what about you? Oh, Erin, I am a terrible chef.、Mm -hmm. I've always loved good food,、mm -hmm. but whenever I try to make something for myself, it just it never turns out well.、Oh. Yeah,、uh, once I even failed at making miso soup,、mm -hmm. and that's that's quite an achievement because、right. it's all you have to do is add water. Right, it's just water、um, and onions and miso. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So、uh, I mean, trust me, if I ever invite you around for dinner, we'll、mm -hmm. probably be ordering takeout from a nearby restaurant. Okay, well, takeout is always good, but it's not what we're actually talking about today. It to is not.、Mm -hmm. Today's article is about a chef working in France on、mm. a TV show. So why don't we get started to find out more about him? Okay. Reading. Luke Wings, France. Luke Wing is a chef with a passion for food. On TLC's show, Luke Wings, France, he sets off to experience that country's finest food. Luke also hopes to learn how French cooking influenced the food culture in Vietnam, his parents' homeland. Luke starts his trip by paying a visit to his cousins. They just opened a new restaurant that offers French and Vietnamese food. After lots of hugs, Luke and his cousin Laurent head to the kitchen. Laurent teaches him how to make a special dish that features lightly cooked fish topped with a fresh coconut sauce. Next, Luke goes to meet Eve Marie, one of France's top butchers. Eve has a secret method of aging meat to make it taste better. They prepare tartare, a dish that features raw beef. Eve selects three different types of beef to create the perfect texture. Luke adds a Vietnamese twist by replacing chicken eggs with quail eggs. The end results are amazing, and prove that simple recipes are always the best. All right. Our article today starts out by telling us who this chef is. It says here, Luke Nian is a chef with a passion for food. All right. Now we used a very strong word here. We said he has a passion for food. Passion is a noun, and here it means a very strong liking for something. So,、mm. your passion should be something that you like very much. Now, of course, you might expect that a chef or a cook. Will have a passion for food because if they don't, maybe they shouldn't be cooking.、Mm -hmm. Now, as an example sentence, we might say Quinn spends a lot of her time and money on her passion, horse riding.、Mm, that's an expensive hobby. It is. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Well, so our next sentence in the article is. On TLC's show, Luke Nguyen's France, he sets off to experience that country's finest food.、Mm. So the word that we're using here is a、mm -hmm. verb. It's set off,、mm -hmm. and it's a phrasal verb. So we're、right. not setting the table here.、Mm -hmm. No, what we're doing here is we're setting off somewhere,、mm -hmm. uh, and what that means is we're starting a journey. Right. So it could be a very long journey. We could be, you know, starting out like Frodo、mm -hmm. when he set off on the long journey to Mordor and Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a very short journey. So, for example, our example sentence:、mm -hmm. "I'm going to set off home early this evening so I can beat the traffic."、Mm, that sounds like a good idea.、Mm -hmm. Stay away from all of those cars. Yeah. 
Okay, so he's in France and he's experiencing the country's finest food, of which there is quite a bit in France. So he's going to、uh, he's going to have a nice yummy journey through France、mm-hmm. here. All right, let's continue on in the article. It says Luke also hopes to learn how French cooking influenced the food culture in Vietnam, his parents' homeland.、Oh. All right, so we are going to look at the grammar pattern we used in that sentence. You might remember me saying the word "how." Now, in that sentence, we used a noun clause starting with the word "how." A noun clause is a group of words that can all work together to be one subject, one object, one complement, that sort of thing. Now, a noun clause always has two or more words, but stands for one thing. Two common ways we can start noun clauses are with the words how and why. Let's take a look at some examples here. So, in the article, you can see our noun clause was how French cooking influenced the food culture in Vietnam. Now, you might think that this is a long phrase to mean one thing, but it does. So, here are some simpler examples. Why Kelly doesn't like Andy. Is a mystery to me. Okay, so the noun clause is why Kelly doesn't like Andy. We have a lot of words there, but only one idea is that Kelly doesn't like Andy. But I don't know why. So another way we could say this sentence is: It is a mystery to me why Kelly doesn't like Andy. Here's an example with how: The professor is going to explain how our eyes work. Okay, so the noun clause here starts with how. It's how our eyes work. The idea, the way our our eyes work.、Mm-hmm. So the next word we have here is homeland,、mm-hmm. and that's also a noun. We、mm-hmm. know that because it's a place,、mm-hmm. um, and it's also it's made up of two smaller, much easier words,、right. which makes it a little bit easier to understand.、Mm-hmm. Home and land.、Mm-hmm. So what this word means is it's、uh, basically it's the place where a person was born or grew up.、Mm-hmm. Uh, however,、mm-hmm. normally when we talk about someone's homeland, we、uh, normally want to say that that person is not there anymore. Right. So we could miss our homeland, for example.、Mm-hmm. Or if we're really sad, we might even go back to our homeland,、mm-hmm. just like in our example sentence. Right. After many years abroad, the sailor returned to his homeland, but not, of course, before he paid a visit to his cousins. Okay.、Yeah. So. You know, Luke isn't actually from Vietnam. It is、oh, okay. his parents' homeland. I see.、Mm-hmm. So, one thing we are going to find out is all about how French food affected the food in Vietnam. Okay, because、um, of course France had colonized Vietnam,、oh. and you know Vietnam for a long time was、um, had, had a lot of French people and a French military, and a lot of the cities now there still look. Visibly French. I I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so we're going to continue on in the article here. We're going to say how Luke starts his trip. It says Luke starts his trip by paying a visit to his cousins. Now, when you pay a visit to someone, you simply visit that person. You go to see them where they are. We're not we're not talking about paying money here. We're just talking about visiting someone. For example, I'm going to pay a visit to my grand. Grandma, this weekend, I haven't seen her in a while.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, when he goes to pay them a visit, he finds out that they have just opened a new restaurant that offers French. And Vietnamese food.、Mm, mm-hmm. Yum.、Yeah. All right. Okay. So his cousins obviously also Vietnamese, living in France, and that's why they're opening this restaurant with both kinds of food. And I love Vietnamese food, and I love French food. So this sounds like the place for me. Yeah. All right. So he's going to catch up with his cousin here. It says after lots of hugs, Luke and his cousin Laurent head to the kitchen. Right, and when they do head to the kitchen,、mm-hmm. Lauren teaches him a special dish that features lightly cooked fish, topped with a fresh coconut sauce. Right. Well, I love this sentence、mm-hmm. because it is it uses a really yummy bit of vocab,、mm-hmm. coconut. Uh, it's a noun, and it's one of my favorite tropical fruits.、Okay. Now you'll definitely have seen a coconut before,、mm-hmm. probably when you're at the beach on holiday. It's up high in one of those palm trees. It's that big. 
a uh, round football shaped fruit it's mm-hmm. either green or brown and very hairy mm-hmm. um so yeah they can be green and smooth or hairy and they're very hard to get open normally right. you have to kind of hack at them with mm-hmm. a big knife right. uh but if you can get into them they are delicious mm-hmm. you can both eat a coconut mm-hmm. you can dry it out put it in candy or you can drink it like a drink that's right mm. there's water inside yeah. of it Okay, so just like our example sentence, Sonia relaxed on the beach with a cool glass of coconut water. Yum. Yeah, so yum, she's drinking yum. right out of the coconut. Mhm. Mm-hmm. All right. So what we've done or what they've done with the coconut here, they're not just serving a plate of coconut. They've made coconut sauce. Now, sauce is a thick liquid that is sometimes put on top of food to give that food a certain taste. Mm. Now, one popular sauce in Taiwan is soy sauce, and of course, another is chili sauce, which is very spicy or hot. You'll see both of those on a lot of tables at restaurants here in Taiwan. Mm. So, those keep in mind next time you see them, you can show off that you know the word for them. They are sauces. As an example sentence, we could say, "Would you like to put some sauce on your potatoes? It will give them more flavor." Yeah, and mm. Luke needs some sauce. Needs something to put his sauce on. Mm-hmm. So next, he goes. Uh, Luke goes to meet Eve Marie, one of France's top butchers. Okay. And the the special word here is butcher. It's a job, so it's a noun again. Mm-hmm. And basically, it means someone who cuts up and sells meat. Now, for a long time, butchers would have their own shop, also called the butchers, and some of them still do. But many of us nowadays get our groceries from the supermarket, right?、Mm-hmm. Uh, and so you can actually find butchers there too.、Yeah. They're those guys standing behind the fresh meat counter.、Mm-hmm. You know, they're probably wearing white, maybe、mm-hmm. a big apron,、right. sometimes a hat, and obviously they're going to be holding a big knife. Need that knife to yes, cut up the meat. Cut up the meat,、mm-hmm. exactly. So they're going to be guys like. The one in our example sentence:、mm-hmm. Every weekend, Mary buys a kilogram of beef from the butcher. Okay, perfect. All right, so lots of butchers in France, probably, but he's going to meet one of France's top butchers. Now, as one of France's top butchers. Eve probably has some secrets, and that's why it says here Eve has a secret method of aging meat to make it taste better. I wonder what it is. I don't、mm. think he'll ever tell you, but you might just have to go and buy his it is meat. Is a secret.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's find out what we mean by method. He's he's got this method of making meat taste better as it ages. Now, a method is a planned way of doing something. When you do something a lot, you might try different ways of doing that thing, and find the one way is easier than the other. Now, once you know an easy way to do something, you can use this as your method and teach other people to do it that way as well. Here's an example sentence: Teachers follow different teaching methods. No two teachers teach in exactly the same way. They don't, do they?、Mm. I, th- I can't think of two teachers who've、right. been the same. No, but anyway, back to the article.、Um, next, they prepare tartar, a dish that features raw beef.、Mm. Ooh, raw beef. I don't know how I feel about that. It's actually、mm. quite good. Is it?、Mm-hmm. Mm. I have had tartar a couple of times. It's quite delicious.、Mm. All right, now he's not going to serve you. He's not going to serve you anything that will make you sick. So you don't need to worry okay, about、good. that. Yes.、Good. All right. It says here Eve selects three different types of beef to create the perfect texture. That's they're talking about creating tartare. So choosing three different meats to create the perfect texture of this dish tartare. Now, when we are talking about texture here, texture is the way something feels. It's a noun. Okay. So it's it's like. The way that something feels—that is what the noun is. Now we can use this to talk about the way that food feels in our mouths too. For example, in Taiwan, if you go to eat an oyster omelet, it will have a very smooth kind of、mm. gooey taste in your mouth,、Almost、right? Slimy.、Mm-hmm. Mm. But a potato chip is going to have a very rough texture.、Ah, so just think about the way the food feels on your tongue, and that will be the texture. 
Okay.、Mm -hmm. So next, Luke adds a Vietnamese twist. So when he adds a twist,、mm -hmm. he's adding a little bit of Vietnamese flavor. We、right. could say that as well.、Mm -hmm. So Luke adds a Vietnamese twist by replacing chicken eggs with quail eggs. Okay. So in this sentence,、mm -hmm. he's replacing the chicken eggs with a different kind of eggs. So this, the word here is、mm -hmm. the verb replace. Right. And what it means is he is swapping or changing the chicken egg. Mm -hmm. With a different egg, right?、Uh, that's well. That's basically what replace means.、Mm -hmm. When you're removing one thing or a person, sometimes and putting a new thing in its place, you're replacing it.、Mm -hmm. You could replace the tires on your car with new ones, say if you have a hole in one of them,、mm -hmm. or you could even be replaced at work,、Ooh. which would actually mean you've been fired. Oh, oh, yeah, unlucky. Or you quit, and someone else is just taking、But、your you job. You could have quit too.、Yes. You could have quit too. That's a、mm -hmm. better situation to be in. Or you could be trying to get out of a sticky situation, like、mm -hmm. our example sentence: Stephen replaced the broken vase before his mother found out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, his mother won't know. Hopefully, she won't. Oh,、know. now if you can't afford to go out and replace a broken vase, all you students out there, it's probably best to just apologize to your yes, mom. Yes, probably is.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway,、uh, so okay. back to the article. What、right. kind of eggs is he using? Aaron? Okay, so he the French recipe that、um, that Eve's uses had. Chicken eggs in it, but by giving it a little bit of Vietnamese flavor, this twist, Luke used quail eggs. Now, a quail is a small, fat bird that people hunt for food or sport. It kind of looks a lot like a dove. Okay, but when you see the eggs of a quail, they're actually quite small. When you look at A hen's eggs, there they can be, you know, about the size of your palm, maybe、mm. a little bit smaller. But quail's eggs are a lot smaller than that. But they are delicious,、mm -hmm. delicious and simple, like our last sentence. Okay. The end results are amazing and prove that simple recipes are always the best. That's what I can、yeah. agree with. Yeah, yeah, they always are, <laughs> especially for me, seeing、mm -hmm. as I'm such a bad cook. Right.、Uh, anyway, so simple recipes. So this last word for today is a noun,、mm -hmm. and more specifically, it's the instructions we use when we want to make a specific dish or food.、Mm -hmm. We follow a recipe when we make a dish by reading each step and then doing it ourselves.、Mm -hmm. Or if you don't like reading, like me,、uh, then there are even video、uh, recipes on YouTube now. Oh,、yeah. that's a lot easier.、Mm -hmm. yeah, it is.、Mm -hmm. So our example for today is: My grandma has a great recipe for chicken pot pie.、Yum. It's been in our family for many, many years. Well, Seb, maybe if you practice making this pot pie recipe. You can have us over for dinner because I, I love pot pie. <laughs>、mm -hmm, me too, but I would wait many, many years、All、before、right. I'm ready to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, we have come to the end of today's article. We're not finished quite yet. We still got today's for you chat, but we're going to find out more about Luke, the American Vietnamese、mm -hmm. chef in France, tomorrow. So stay tuned. We'll be back here in a second. For you, chat. Okay, welcome back to our for you chat section. So, our for you chat question today is: What is your passion in life? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. So, do you have a passion in life? I do. Okay. I'm passionate about photography. Ooh. Okay.、Mm -hmm. So, I love taking pictures.、Mm -hmm. You know, when I, whether I'm traveling, hanging out with friends,、mm -hmm. or I don't know. Out on a hike, right? There's nothing I like more than to take pictures. Okay. I love taking portraits.、Mm -hmm. I love taking pictures of big landscapes. Okay.、Um, you know, I just like to find something special and、right. then really, you know, make it my make own. Make it your own. That's really interesting.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, What about you? Well, I think many of our students probably know this already, but I would say one of my biggest passions is、uh, theater. And、oh. I'm not an actor, so it's not really being on the stage. But I really love being the person to sort of put the show together,、ah, which is why、okay. I'm a stage manager. Okay.、Um, and one of my newest passions in life,、uh, which many people in our office will know, is、uh, plants. Are plants,、mm -hmm. and I just I love I love all plants. My house is full of plants. My desk is full of plants. I love taking.
taking pictures of plants outside and posting、mm. them on my Instagram. My Instagram is basically just plants. So、oh, I'll have to follow you then. Yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Well, lots of things out there to be passionate about in life. Passionate、mm-hmm. is the adjective of that word.、Um, you can talk about the things that you love to do or that you love to have in your life. We are.、Mm-hmm. All out of time for today, but we will see you again here to talk more about this delicious food tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Luke Wing's France. Luke Wing is a chef with a passion for food. On TLC's show, Luke Wing's France, he sets off to experience that country's finest food. Luke also hopes to learn how French cooking influenced the food culture in Vietnam, his parents' homeland. Luke starts his trip by paying a visit to his cousins. They just opened a new restaurant that offers French and Vietnamese food. After lots of hugs, Luke and his cousin Laurent head to the kitchen. Laurent teaches him how to make a special dish. That features lightly cooked fish, topped with a fresh coconut sauce. Next, Luke goes to meet Eve Marie, one of France's top butchers. Eve has a secret method of aging meat to make it taste better. They prepare tartare, a dish that features raw beef. Eve selects three different types of beef to create the perfect texture. Luke adds a Vietnamese twist by replacing chicken eggs with quail eggs. The end results are amazing, and prove that simple recipes are always the best. Vocabulary review. Passion. Howie's passion is chemistry, and his grades in that subject are always A's. Coconut. Don't stand under coconut trees. If one of them falls on you, you can be badly hurt. Sauce. These French fries come with a sweet hot sauce to dip them in. Method. I have a special method of taking notes. I can show you how I do it. Replace. I replaced my friend's Coke with Diet Coke because I wanted to see if he would notice. Recipe. This recipe for apple pie is really old. We got it from a book my great grandmother owned.